In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius, Ignatius of Antioch. St. Ignatius was a bishop, uh, died in the year 107, I believe. Uh, the Emperor Trajan had come to Antioch. Uh, I was very upset that um, uh, Ignatius was ignoring his commands to uh, adore the fallen emperors of Rome. That was a, a law that uh, all people must adore uh, as gods, the fallen emperors of Rome. And uh, of course, um, the Christians could not do that and the Jews couldn't do that. The Jews had a special arrangement with Rome that they could adore the Lord God, but everyone else must adore the fallen emperors of Rome and their gods. So, uh, uh, and that was a great difficulty for the, the Christians because when the Christians were tossed out of the synagogues as heretics, no longer considered Jews, they had no protection from Judaism in Rome. And so the Romans were taking them and throwing them to the lions and, and the games at the Colosseum and such and many Christians were dying, and that was the reason that the Christians were dying to a great extent, because uh, the Rome, they had refused to adore the fallen uh, emperors, the uh, emperor cult. And uh, so when Emperor Trajan came to Antioch and accused uh, Bishop Ignatius of ignoring this rule, uh, he said, oh, you're the poor devil. And Ignatius replied to him, it's inappropriate to refer to a person who honors God above all else as a poor devil. And uh, Trajan took him away and uh, uh, assigned him to be uh, torn apart by wild animals in Rome. Now, um, Ignatius had fasted and prayed in order to protect his flock, but he was very much looking forward to dying as a martyr for the gospel and for Christ. And he had been asking, and even as they took him away, and on the trip to Rome, he was writing letters saying, don't try to have me freed. Don't try to have me saved from martyrdom. I wish to die, uh, you know, at the animals uh, of, of Rome. I wish to die a martyr for Christ in the chains of St. Paul. And, and he did die that way. Uh, and uh, he's honored greatly uh, that he considered it one of the greatest triumphs of all, to die as a martyr for Christ and for the gospel. So we remember that as we move forward today. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, uh, ever-living God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be, may be for us an unending protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. 
John with others being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model that you have in us. For many, as I have to often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct, yourself, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly bodies to conform with his glorified body, and by the power, that power he will enable him also to bring all things into subject, subjugation to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I have loved and long for, my joy and my crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Okay. A responsorial psalm is, The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever on my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The, 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 lo the lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us face together, let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor ones call out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved them. The Lord delivered me from my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed, blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Will you please stand for the gospel? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who perseveres in, perseveres in temptation, for whom he has proved he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord words of the Gospel may our sins be wiped away. And in this short Gospel, Jesus is telling us that we need to follow him, of course, and that his pathway is a short life where he gives his life for us. And we should give our lives for the gospel, for God, and for one another. And this is a very appropriate reading for us today. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, St. Ignatius of Antioch was looking forward to giving his life for Christ and for the gospel. And here Jesus says that a grain of wheat is just a grain of wheat unless it falls to the ground is buried, and then it grows. It's a seed. And from the single grain of wheat comes an entire stalk of wheat that feeds many. And uh, he's, he's telling us that those who die for Christ, those who die for the gospel, those who, of us who die for one another, <clears throat> it's not just a single death that we die, and we're not just single people but God raises us up to help so many others, not just one for one, 
but many for one. And that means not necessarily dying for one another, but living for one another. When we live for one another, when we help one another, we are going far beyond ourselves. We are walking hand in hand with God. And you've heard me say, God loves to work with his kids. And that's us. So let us live our lives as martyrs. Live our lives serving God and the gospel. Live our lives serving our brothers and sisters. And who are our brothers and sisters? Everyone is our brothers and sisters. And when we live our lives in God, for God and the gospel, for God and one another, then we are giving our lives for one another. Then we are living as martyrs. And God will bless us greatly, bless our efforts well beyond ourselves, and raise us up and the people we serve. We bring our intentions to the Father, trusting that he accomplishes all things according to his perfect will. For all members of the church, may the call to conversion bring us ever closer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. For political leaders, may God imbue them with charity, selflessness, and the concern for the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from any burden or difficulty, may they encounter the love of Christ and may it console them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all, for all of us gathered here and around the world, may the Holy Spirit bring us to a renewed awareness of God's presence in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us in the light of faith, may they experience the mercy of God and enjoy eternal union with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Today we offer this Mass in a special way for Andrea Olenik and Marguerite Crowley. May God pour his blessings upon them and bring them eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Our Holy Mother has asked us to pray for sinners, and so we do pray for the redemption of all sinners everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and as always, we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. May God resurrect them, bring them eternal mercy and cleansing, and bring them home into his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God of mercy, we trust in your love and seek your strength in all that we do. We bring these prayers before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With, uh, with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, 
just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels and with a great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. Through, for, your, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Ignatius of Antioch, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. In the blood of Christ, keep you safe for eternal life. body of Christ. Amen. 
our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. What is past our lips as fruit, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in the name and in deed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Memorare. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O oh, Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O oh, Mother of the Word incarnate, Despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us in the name of the Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And with our Mother as well. She will always look out for us, so let us 
uh, give ourselves to our mother because we know that no one loves our blessed mother more than Jesus Christ himself. So let us live our day together with them.